Hey guys, today's tutorial is a fancy special occasion look in honour of Oscar and award season, so it's a very glamorous time of year. So I thought I would create a glamorous kind of makeup look. It's kind of a generic glamorous makeup look, I'm not inspired by a particular celebrity. Focus of the tutorial is super duper glowy skin that isn't totally masked in coverage, a sultry smoky eye, and of course the red lip. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So I've recently really been enjoying wearing less coverage in my makeup. It's really hot here in Australia at the moment. It's really humid and just fuller coverage foundations just tend to melt off my face. And I really enjoy how it looks as well. And a lot of you guys have been commenting on my Instagram, at Turn the Makeup Artist, that it looks great and it kind of makes me look younger and fresher and <laughs> Keep those comments coming guys. But a lot of you have been asking for an updated skincare routine because touch wood, my skin has actually been looking quite good recently. And honestly, I haven't actually changed my skincare routine. I'm still using the same products. So I'm still using my Olay Miracle Boost, the Micro Sculpting Duo. So this one, I'll pop it on now. This is the Miracle Boost Youth Pre-Essence and it comes like a dropper like this and you just like, pop it into your hand. So you use this after cleansing before your moisturizer. And I like to think of this as like my skincare primer. So this helps to boost the effectiveness of whatever skincare you put on top of it. And in itself, it's got tons of really great ingredients. It's got like antioxidants and niacinamide, which helps to speed up the cell turnover. So it helps your skin look to look a bit smoother. It also helps with like collagen production and with the elasticity in your skin, but um, I really love it because it just absorbs super quick into my skin. So I'm not left with like any kind of film and it doesn't like ball or roll, which sometimes with those kind of products, I've had problems with that in the past, but this just like sinks straight in really quickly. And then over that, I follow up with the micro sculpting cream, which is a really nice, it's quite a rich moisturizer. You can see it's quite a rich cream, but again, it absorbs very quickly and it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily or greasy or anything like that. And this has got all of the same kind of skincare benefits that are hopefully amplified a little bit from having the pre-essence underneath it, but it also is packed with hyaluronic acid. So that helps to keep your skin really hydrated and looking plump and nice and ready for the makeup. I've been using them both for about eight months now and I just haven't felt the need to switch to anything else, which is rare for me. I do get sent a lot of skincare, but recently I've become a little bit hesitant to try new stuff just because I found that whenever I do try new stuff, that's when my skin just goes haywire and I break out and this is working for me right now. So I've been sticking with it. So onto the makeup, I'm going to take some primer. I'm using the Max Factor Facefinity All Day Primer. This is a really long wearing primer. Great if you have issues with your makeup sliding off. It's really quite grippy and really helps to keep oil can, uh, oil at bay. Now I'm actually just gonna put it right through the center of my face. I'm not gonna put it on my cheek so much just because I don't want it, it kind of mattifies as well and I don't really want it to mattify these areas. I wanna be like luminous in these areas. Then using the Facefinity All Day Flawless Foundation. This is again from Max Factor. This is, a, this is a great foundation actually. And every time I wear it, I always get comments on how nice my skin looks. It's quite blurry on the skin. So it makes your skin look really smooth. And the color is really, it's a, it's a funny one. This is warm almond and it kind of looks like it would be too dark for me, but when I put it on, it's actually really good. And it lasts really well too. Now the coverage is, I say it's like a medium, medium to full, depending on how heavy you apply it. So I'm using this really stiff, dense Sigma brush to really buff it in so I don't have too much of the product on. I like to use quite full coverage products and then really thin them out. And I find that that gives me the best kind of longevity with my, my base products. And then I'm just gonna bounce over the top with my Dank Beauty Blender just to make sure there's no streaks and everything is really, really well worked into the skin. Under my eyes, I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Just being careful not to go overboard with this product because it can look a little bit cakey if you go too crazy. I'm just putting it on the inside and outside corner and then take the Beauty Blender. And I'm also just gonna dot that concealer for any little bits of redness. To set everything, I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder. And this is a very, very fine kind of HD powder, which I know some people are kind of uh, hesitant to use if there's gonna be any kind of flash photography, but 
using a damp beauty blender is I think the safest way to apply a powder like this because you really work it into the skin and you don't have too much excess so it won't like do that weird bounce back with the flash. Onto the eyes, first I'm gonna take some of this MAC paint in the color Untitled. And I'm gonna use this as my base slash eyeshadow primer and just pop this the whole way across the eyelid up as far as the eyebrow. And before I go any further with the eyes, I'm gonna to switch to the brows. And today I'm using my Light Ash Blonde pencil from Eye of Horus. And I wanna keep the brows soft, but definitely defined. So obviously I'm using the pencil to add definition, but I'm constantly switching to the spoolie on the other side just to comb that product through the brows. I don't want it to look, I really don't want them to look penciled in. And to finish, I'll take some of the MAC Clear Brow Set. An oldie but a goodie. Moving back to the eyes, I'm gonna take my By Terry Ombre Black Sphere in the color Bronze Moon and draw that across my eyelid, almost like eyeliner, and draw a little bit of a flick, like a tiny bit of a flick, right on the outside corner. And I'm not drawing the line too thick because I'm gonna take a brush and blend it. And by blending it, I'm kind of pulling the color a little bit further up, so I don't wanna apply it too thick on the eyelid because I don't want it to spread too far out. And then once I've softened the edge of that, I'm gonna reapply it mostly in the center portion of the lid, just so that I can get a little bit more intensity and more kind of bling metallic shine right on the eyelid and then go back and blend. And then I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on the bottom lash line, just on the outside third, the outer corner and connect it to the top lid. And then again, take my eyeshadow brush and just gently soften that in. Next, I'm gonna take some white eye pencil and line my lower waterline, and this is the Selenite White Goddess Pencil from Eye of Horus. The next step in the eyes is kind of optional. It depends on your own eye shape, but I'm gonna take a little bit of the Sephora Contouring Powder in Tranquil, and I'm just gonna pop a tiny bit through my socket. And the reason for this is to kind of push my socket back up a bit. I am noticing that my eyebrows are kind of beginning, gravity is taking its toll basically. They're beginning to sag. The skin on my brow bone is beginning to kind of come down onto my eyelid a little bit. Basically my eyes are becoming a little bit more hooded. So doing this, just pop, popping a little bit of contour, it doesn't have to be very strong. I'm not doing, it's not a cut crease or anything, just a, a subtle amount of that contour powder right into the socket and a little bit above onto the brow bone just helps to give the illusion of that uh, socket being a little bit more lifted. Next on the eyes, I'm gonna take some eyeliner and today I'm using the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm smudging it so it really doesn't need to be a perfect crisp line. Just need to get it right in at the roots and then I'm just gonna thicken it on this outside corner so it forms a bit of a wedge. And then just take a little brush just to soften it. With that eyeliner on, I feel like I just need to add a tiny bit more of the bronze color. So I'm gonna take it straight from the top of the crayon onto that little brush and just buff it right along the edge of the black. That'll just help to blend those two colors together a little bit more and just reintroduce that metallic bronze finish. I'm gonna finish the skin now before I do my mascara. And first I'm gonna take that Sephora contouring powder and we're just gonna be very subtle with the contouring. I think contouring does, it looks great in photographs. And that's why we all love it so much. But in real life, you have to be very careful that you don't look like you've got stripes on your face. The Beauty Blender is fantastic for erasing any kind of mistakes or if you go overboard. Next, I'm going to highlight, and I'm using my absolutely beautiful Burberry highlighter for that. It gives such a gorgeous, wet look sheen, and it's a really cool, pearly white tone. Pop some on the tip of my nose as well. Cupid's bow. And brow bone. I'm gonna bring that around the inner corner of the eye, because this actually makes a really beautiful I highlight too. I'm gonna to use a very neutral color on my cheeks because I'm gonna be doing such a strong color on my lips. So I'm using MAC Tenderling, which is a lovely nude brownie pink and it's completely matte. I have enough shine going on on my cheeks.
I'm going to apply my mascara now. Today I'm using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, which is my new favourite. I'm not going to go too heavy with it though because I'm going to pop on some false lashes too. For lashes today I'm using these that I picked up in Japan. They're by Reapy and num number five. I presume that means they're style number five. And on my lips today, I'm going to use this lipstick. It's one of the Burberry lipsticks in the color Military Red. I haven't even used it yet. I'm going to go straight from the bullet. I'm just going to blot that and reapply. And that's the finished look. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think it's quite a nice updated, fresh, modern way to do a classic glamorous look just by keeping the skin that bit fresher and not putting too much coverage on and also not having the eyes too perfect. Like they're a little bit smudgy, they're a little bit kind of smoky. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That just helps other people to find it in the search algorithm thing that YouTube has. And if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, go follow me on Instagram at Sharon the Makeup Artist. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you give this one a go yourself and we'll see you very soon.